The swept-wing Republic F-84F Thunderstreak fighter jet was a development of the straight-wing F-84 Thunderjet, although it was a new design. It was also developed into the photo reconnaissance version RF-84F Thunderflash. The straight-winged F-84 Thunderjet suffered from a number of performance issues. The last production F-84E was fitted with a swept tail and a new swept wing, as well as an upgraded version of the J-35 engine. The aircraft was designated the XF-96A, and flew for the first time June 3, 1950, but the performance gain was minor. Despite this, it was ordered into production as the F-84F Thunderstreak. The F-84 designation was kept, as it was expected to be a low-cost improvement of the straight-wing Thunderjet. The U.S. Air Force wanted improved high-altitude performance, and wanted a more powerful engine for the F-84F. The Wright J-65, a U.S.-made version of the British Armstrong Siddeley Sapphire turbojet, was selected. A prototype YF-84F, with a vertically stretched fuselage, was fitted with a British-built Sapphire engine, and production F-8Fs fitted with the J-65 engine also had a stretched fuselage. The Thunderstreak was expected to have 55% tooling commonality with the Thunderjet, but in reality only 15% of tools could be reused. Also, the wing design of the Thunderstreak required press-forged wings, and only three presses that could be used were available in the U.S. These presses were used for the B-47 Stratojet, and the Thunderstreak was given a lower priority. Adding to that, the J-65 engine was considered obsolete, and a new version of it was years away. The first production Thunderstreak flew for the first time November 22, 1952, and it had several differences from the test aircraft. The canopy had been redesigned, and opened up and back, and air brakes were placed on the sides of the fuselage instead of on the bottom of the aircraft. The aircraft still had control and stability problems, and the first 275 aircraft suffered from accelerated stall pitch-up and poor turning ability at combat speeds. The Thunderstreak was not declared operational until May 12, 1954. The RF-84F Thunderflash had wing root air intakes, which permitted placement of cameras in the nose. The Thunderflash had innovations like computerized controls which adjusted camera settings, a periscope to give the pilot better visualization of the target, and a voice recorder to let the pilot record his observations. The Thunderflash suffered from the same delays as the Thunderstreak, and entered service in March 1954. The U.S. Air Force found the F-84F considerably better than the Thunderjet, but it was plagued by engine failures, and the entire fleet was grounded in early 1955. The engine also had a tendency to suffer flameouts in heavy rain or snow. Due to these problems, the F-84F phased out in 1958. But increased Cold War tensions resulted in the reactivation of the Thunderstreak fleet in 1961. The Thunderstreak was finally retired from Air Force service in 1964, while the Thunderflash was transferred to the Air National Guard, where it served until 1971. A total of 3,428 aircraft were produced.